As the sun comes out here in Punta Arenas, it's time for the second part of my cruise around the Patagonian fjords. I've been assured that what's coming up next is absolutely breathtaking. So what are we going to be seeing? More wildlife, more beautiful scenery, more epic journeys and will we get to Cape Horn again? We don't know yet but uh, we shall see. So get ready for the next instalment of the Patagonian fjords. It's going to be good. Welcome back to the Patagonian fjords down here in southern Chile and it is very chilly this morning it's nice blue skies lots of mountain scenery it's going to be another beautiful day out here as uh, we've got a new lot of people that have come on board for the next few days so we've got quite a lot to do today we've got Tucker's Island coming up penguins and uh, I don't know where we are at the moment but uh, we've been assured of spectacular views so hopefully as you've seen from the B-roll, the scenery should be pretty, pretty amazing that's coming up. So I'm going to go and get some breakfast as it's cold out here, but uh, until then, enjoy some of the B-roll, some of the images that I've been doing this morning. It's the usual case of just trying to have a simple meal, just like breakfast. You look out the window and then you see the scene that's behind me. And you just think, I, I can't sit here. I can't just have breakfast very leisurely and just get on and have my take, take my time. I just can't do it. I have to get out here and work. The sun is out, it's glorious out here. And I just had to get out here and work. And the waiter looked at me and just said, you off? Yes, I'm off, I've got to go. I'll see you later at lunchtime because it's just too beautiful out there to, to sit around doing nothing. So everybody else is downstairs enjoying breakfast and I'm up here enjoying the view. For me, that's the most important thing. Dinner last night was didn't even happen. There was too much going on. So yeah, here we go again. It started again and it's only the morning. What's coming up? There's gonna be many things coming up today. There's a, a walk we're gonna be doing which isn't very hard apparently but we got some stupendous views then there's some penguins later on and many other things that come up you're going to enjoy it this is going to be another one one of those vlogs it's just spectacular scenery Thank you. 
So this morning we were in Ainsworth Bay, an absolutely spectacular mountain scenery and we've left there and we're making our way down the fjords again. We're going to a place called Tucker's Isle. We're going there because there's lots of penguins. Now what we've been told is we can't get off the Zodiac boats that we're going to go out on. We, can, we actually have to stay on and as I fight against the wind here, hopefully I can go out three times get as many images as I can of those penguins. Now hopefully, also might be some condors out there as well, so one of my guides tells me. So it should be a very, very interesting afternoon, but setting down the fjords here and getting a few more shots here and there where I can, but uh, it's quite difficult against the wind. I have to kind of hide between, hide behind some of the ship and just be able to get shelter from the wind so that I can get my lens as stable as possible when I'm picking out parts of the Patagonian landscape. But uh, let's keep enjoying the cruise here. It's just absolutely amazing, amazing scenery down here in Patagonia. If you're wondering how on earth I actually capture some of the spectacular scenery that you're seeing going past at the moment, basically my weapon of choice, my lens of choice, is the Canon 100 to 400. And I'm using an image stabilization a lot. At times I'm using, as you can see, there's my polarizer on the front and also at times I'm using the 1.4 extender that I've got as well to get in really close to stuff. That's something you have to be really aware of when you're doing this is that obviously we're moving along so the focus is going crazy at times. You have to flip between autofocus, the single autofocus point, the AI focus, sometimes the AI servo. It really depends on what it is that you're doing. So I am able to get what it is that I need but you have to be very very good with your technique, your camera technique to get the type of images that you're seeing throughout this, these two vlogs that I've been creating down here in Chile and Bat in uh, Patagonia in Chile so you know, it's absolutely stunning you, said you just have to be very very good with your camera technique at times it's, it's not too bad but certainly for example early in the morning when the light is a lot lower and we're moving along you have to be very very steady even with the image stabilization on the lens getting the type of imagery that you're seeing it is possible and i have been doing panoramas from a moving ship and getting success so things are possible if you've got good technique you can do it but just keep enjoying the vlog and we're not doing, we're not doing too much technique doing this it's more about the scenery more about the imagery and helping to inspire people while i'm down here but you know just I'm just so pleased to be down here and so pleased to, be, to have been invited to create the imagery that I've been doing down here. It's just absolutely fantastic, it's absolutely stunning down here. Let's continue on with the vlog. It's about quarter past eight in the evening and uh, we're just about heading into or actually into the beginning of the Gabriel Channel. What's the Gabriel Channel? It's a very special channel. It's going to have an interesting navigational route for the captain. What is it? I'm not going to spoil the surprise but apparently we've been told that uh, navigation as I said is a very interesting one. So I'm going to film as much as I can, take as much 
as much images as I can just stunning around here. I asked to have my dinner as early as I could just because I could see the evening was beautiful, the light was stunning. I just had to get up here as soon as I could. Keep watching because I think you're in for a really nice surprise and a really interesting route through the Gabriel Channel. It's another sunny day down here in Chile and it's a little bit chilly as well as we're going along and on this uh, beautiful cruise liner that we're on. Now well, I think actually we're very lucky because a few days ago in Punta Arenas when uh, we disembarked and I got back on again there was another cruise ship there. Now this one holds about I think it's 200 people that one is 2,000 people I can't remember the name of it but yes we're really lucky because we're a lot smaller there's a lot better places that we can get to. So as I said, the weather, as you can see behind me, is beautiful again, and I'm just trying to get as many images as I can. So I've actually got my camera set up on my tripod, and somebody said to me earlier, well, what, really, what use is a tripod on a moving ship? Well, if you've got a shutter speed that's quick enough, you can actually get good panoramas from the camera, and you can be using a tripod. So I've done a lot of handheld panoramas, but I've also done a lot of panoramas that actually have been done with my tripod. And of course, if I'm filming B-roll, then the tripod comes in handy as well. Although, what you probably would have noticed is that every so often you can see, obviously, the water line coming up and down as we're moving. Although we're moving very gently, the ship is still moving up and down. So, just keep enjoying the scenery. I can't really sort of teach much during this particular vlog because we're just in mountains all the time, surrounded by mountains. And it's just it really is so beautiful down here you have breakfast lunch or dinner and you just want to get back out again and just just take as many images as you can and i've got about four thousand images so yeah just keep enjoying patagonian chili It's about one o'clock in the afternoon and we're coming up to Pier Glacier. So the first part of this series of uh, my adventure down here in Chile, we were here early in the morning and now here we're coming up in the afternoon. I kind of think it's actually better here in the afternoon because, not in the afternoon, in the morning because the sun is directly above the glacier. So I did pretty well I think the other day getting here in the morning. So it's just one of those things. What's coming up this afternoon? I don't know, we're supposed to be going to a glacier that uh, not a lot of people are going to, but I guess we shall see very soon what's going on. But just enjoy Pier Glacier.
It's about 20 to 6 in the evening and we're just headed down the Beagle Channel. Over my right shoulder is one of those amazing mountain ranges I've seen so far. I've seen many but I really love the view that you get that's just disappeared over my right shoulder. Absolutely beautiful. When I came here the other day, it was in the morning, I got it in the morning light, just about got it sharp, a panorama. I think I've got it again as a panorama this evening. I just saw it out of the corner of my eye when I was waiting in the bar and I just thought, I'm, I'm going to go and get it again. I have to. It's absolutely beautiful this evening. Everybody is so pleased on the cruise so far because every single day we've had amazingly beautiful weather. And apparently it's very, very rare that down here in this part of the world that we have weather like this that we've been having. So basically I've just been trying to capture as much B-roll as I can, as much imagery as I can, just, to, just anywhere and everywhere you look in this place. It is just absolutely beautiful. It's just, you, you just basically stand on deck here or in some of the other places where you can get outside and you just keep looking around. There's this high mountains without snow on one side, high mountains with snow on the other side. You know, and coupled with the beautiful weather that we've got here, it's just beautiful, it's stunning. This place is absolutely stunning, it really is. It's going to be extremely strange on Saturday morning to go into Ushuaia, back to civilization, because just out here we are just at, almost at one. There's some B-roll that I did earlier, which uh, you would have seen us going up to a glacier. We couldn't get off the boat because actually there was nowhere to get off the boat. But the, our guide said to us, let's just, for exactly one minute, stay silent, no camera clicks, nothing, no talking. It was just beautiful. You can't... We've been talking amongst ourselves and it's really hard to actually get it across on camera, on images, just how beautiful it is here, how surreal at times it is being here. It just really is. I talk about this place being beautiful, stunning, it is. If you ever, ever get the opportunity to come to this place, if you're watching this, somebody says, do you want to go to the fjords down in Patagonia in Chile? Just say yes. Without any question, just say yes. Even in rain, it still looks beautiful as long as you can see the mountains. And it really is amazing down here. So we're going to go and be going basically from west to east along the Beagle Channel this evening, along the Glacier Alley, I think it is that they called it and then tomorrow morning we will hopefully, fingers crossed, be arriving at Cape Horn again and everybody on board is hoping that this weather continues and especially for Cape Horn because it's so notorious for its weather changes down there. But that's first thing in the morning so we shall see but until then again just uh, enjoy, just enjoy this Beagle Channel going into Glacier Alley.
It's Friday the 7th of February 2020. We're back at Cape Horn, or I'm back at Cape Horn. So I'm the only passenger that's actually done the return journey. There's a couple of passengers on board the ship that are actually going into Ushuaia and then going back again. But this time, it seems the weather seems to be a lot calmer. So far, it's Cape Horn. So the last time I was here, it was starting to rain. This time, well, it seems to be quite nice and calm. Three knots, they said, with the wind speed. So everything so far seems to be okay. The first boat has gone out with the team on there to make sure the conditions are right for us to land on our Zodiac boats. And then after that, be just on the island again. I should probably get pretty much what I did last time. We're very restricted as to where we can go. A lot of the flowers that uh, I was trying to photograph last time, apparently they're only on the island. That's the only place in the world you can find those flowers, which is just stunning information. You just think, wow, is that really the case, that it is the only place on this earth these white flowers grow? But yeah, it's just amazing to be back here again. Just to say you've been to Cape Horn and I've now been twice to Cape Horn or haven't got on the island yet, but I will be. So everything looks good, everything is going well. Let's get on to Cape Horn. Welcome back to the beautiful Wulaya Bay. If you remember from the first part of the vlog of this uh, trip down to South America, Wulaya Bay has a subarctic forest, which is basically behind the camera. What is the subarctic forest? It's basically the last forest that you're likely to see before Antarctica. So the, today has actually been really good for me because as I've already been to this place before, the guides have let me go off on my own and have a lot of time on my own. So I'm here waiting for the light. I've got a couple of hours on my own, which is really nice because it means I'm able to get some really nice light and uh, I'm allowed to use my drone as well here in this particular place as the company owns the island. So it's actually all going very, very nicely. The sun is coming and going. The, li the light is filtering through the skies. And as you can probably see, it's not a, an optical illusion. I'm absolutely red from the, the sun down here. I was reading somewhere, uh, I think probably back in Punta Arenas, that um, there's a hole in the ozone somewhere down this part of the, of the world. And so that's probably why I'm catching the sun a lot more than I usually would. But uh, yeah, it's just absolutely beautiful here. So I'm going to finish up getting some of what I want to with a particular viewpoint up here. But also then I'm going to walk back down go and get a drink but on the way I'm going to see if I can capture more of the forest the subarctic forest because if I can get it and I have got the time I'd like to get a few images actually of the forest because it is really nice there's a lot of interesting compositions that that can be done in that particular forest but yeah the, the view here just enjoy the view it's uh that is absolutely beautiful here in Wulaya Bay this evening we're going back to Ushuaia and somebody said to me we're actually docking in Ushuaia before getting off in the morning so yeah just absolutely it's been an amazing time and uh, probably this won't be the last segment I'll do something maybe on the ship in the morning or uh, when I'm in Ushuaia so just enjoy the view. The 
so that's it for the Patagonian fjords and a little bit of Argentina as well in, in, in Ushuaia. I think it's pronounced as corrected earlier by uh, guys, a lady down the tourism office. So a huge thank you to everybody on the boat, from passengers to crew to guides. And it's just basically without all of those people, just this trip would just not would have been would not have been a success. The weather, of course, does play a part, but the people when I'm working really do make the the, uh, the real difference when I'm out and about doing these things. So, off the top of my head, there's guides like Sebastian, Catalina, Juanita, uh, Miguel, uh, Roger, the head guides of Mark and Herman. And all the other guys, like names, like names, they slipped me by. I can't remember. They all really helped me when I've been out and about trying to do my work. Passengers, certainly on this second cruise, I can remember passenger names like uh, Wally, for example. Builds houses up in the Pacific Northwest. Great character. Bill and his wife uh, Cheryl from San Antonio, San Antonio, Texas. Flip and his wife that uh, invited me onto their table. And kind enough to invite me along with Martin and his wife and Bill and. Bill and Cheryl and just so many people just trying to think who I need to really say thank you to Ernest who came up to introduce himself to me really early on a guy from Hong Kong now lives in in Canada just great character great people there's so many others who they they I know that have given me their name and I've forgotten but they've probably got my business card somewhere just met two people and just trying to think their names as they wandered off down the street uh, Kurt and another guy and they're, they're two wives as well, just absolutely amazing people. They've really made the atmosphere on board. All of, everybody actually on board, all the passengers have just helped create a really nice positive vibe on board, which really does actually help when you're trying to do this kind of work commercially and certainly when you're working on your own a lot. You know, they really do help bring you up, lift your spirits up, interested in what it is you're doing. And not just the passengers, but the guides as well. I've been talking a lot to a newfound friend, uh, Sebastian who's a really cool photographer. I'd love to get his Instagram if he's got one. I think he has. And I, if I can, I'll share it because it, Sebastian is on the cruises all the time. He's a very good photographer. Um, and he just basically sees some amazing stuff every single day. And he's out there guiding as well. So he has a passion for his job and he's got a passion for, for photography. I really wanted to get him on the vlog actually, as well as Miguel, uh, who helped me when I was going out to a waterfall, who you was, would have seen some B-roll from the first vlog that I did so Miguel was, was just an amazing help to me because carrying my GoPro filming b-roll etc so it's been an amazing time thank you so much to everybody that uh, has participated from crews and marketing to to passengers to guides to anybody everybody that I met thanks so much find me on Instagram at Julian Elliott Photography find me on Facebook find me any way you can and uh, the next one's coming up in Norway in a few days time. I'm hit France in a couple of days and then I'm off up to Norway and then from Norway then uh, I'm in the UK actually and then Berlin um, for a few things and then many 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 things going on this year. It's going to be another crazy year of travel and I'm going to take you along as much as I can. Until the next one, take care of yourselves. See you again soon. Thanks again to everybody. It really did matter to me a lot. Thanks.